Hello, this is Payal Chakraborty from the product marketing team at ServiceNow. The manufacturing sector is one of the most vulnerable to security breaches in operational technology. As the number of endpoints and monitoring tool grows, so does the volume of threats and vulnerabilities, making prioritizing appropriate actions more challenging than ever. With this challenge kept in mind, let's see how ServiceNow ServiceCraft Connector for Tenable helps various industries with a vast expanse of OT assets to gain a secure handle on their remediation of critical vulnerabilities. Robert is the head of security across all sites, accountable for ensuring all assets are protected from external and internal security risks. Troy is the security analyst and a control systems engineer responsible for setting organizational policies for remediating the target date. Troy has successfully set up the ServiceNow Operational Technology ServiceCraft Connector for Tenable and has many scheduled jobs, one for vulnerability response, assets and the plugin import for VR. Troy wants to take a look at all the data that comes in. He groups assets to see what's coming in from the discovery sources. The ServiceNow integration is bringing in these assets and now let's see how Troy finds the vulnerabilities associated. Let's go! To the vulnerable items. This pulls vulnerabilities into vulnerable response from the tenable OT product and the specific assets are mapped. There is a custom map for any field that tenable has to map where there is no direct correlation. Troy can add custom tenable asset attributes to these records and by doing this he's adding secure information directly added to this field. Robert and Troy receive a notification of a critical vulnerability. Robert starts his day by viewing the Vulnerabilities Overview dashboard where he can view the enterprise security posture of all the assets. Robert can quickly understand how many vulnerabilities are there overall, how many of them are critical and not assigned. Additionally, he can view vulnerable items by risk ratings, remediation state, configuration items and risk score across the sites. He can also filter the items. Robert can access the vulnerable items list view for a deeper analysis which lists down each vulnerable items with a vulnerability and risk score calculated. By launching the interactive analysis, Robert sees that these are sites with different vulnerabilities that can be grouped to understand that Atlanta and London have critical vulnerabilities. Robert wants to see the site's progress by changing the state risk as rating. a group by dimension to understand that these are critical vulnerabilities in a different state but this one here is open. Robert and Troy are notified via email whenever a new or critical exposure occurs. Let's see how Troy remediates this critical vulnerability by accessing the operational technology workspace. He is presented with a list view to focus on Atlanta which has 9 critical vulnerabilities. The roll-up score can be viewed here by different equipment modeling to be listed under the site. The risk score indicates the manufacturing area. He sees that assembly line 2 has the highest risk score and he further drills down to view the vulnerabilities reported. He quickly accesses the vulnerable items. Troy prioritizes this open critical vulnerability and notes that there are others awaiting implementation. He starts an investigation onto this. Once the research is done and the necessary remediation is identified, he changes the state of the workflow to awaiting implementation. Troy creates a vulnerability remediation task by selecting the ones that are awaiting implementation. He groups all the vulnerabilities reported on the assembly line 2 to develop one remediation task, takes help of the scheduling assistant to choose the available slot for remediation. He saves the task on the scheduled downtime. He resolves the job by assigning this to himself. This vulnerability risk is resolved now. Troy can mark this close after testing that assembly line 2 is working fine and makes the necessary changes. Robert and Troy have just seen how everything works together. The key insights from here are Tenable will find the assets by discover and assess. Once we've done that, all of the information that Tenable has synchronized goes into ServiceNow to leverage all of the information in the CMDB which could be any source or custom rules to prioritize. 
Once prioritized, it will coordinate to get the right information to the right team or the person to fix it. Once it's at the right team, they will go ahead and remedy it through their workflow, test it and then deploy it. You can validate the vulnerability response integrations with a remediation scan that is targeted, rapid, lightweight and allows to check for vulnerabilities. Once the integration is set up for VR, the security team and the IT team have access to this exact same information and can use it for prioritization and SLAs. This powerful integration of Tenable OT with ServiceNow is a full-featured risk-based prioritization and features scoring, grouping, coordinated remediation workflow and communication between ServiceNow and Tenable. This is just one example of how companies can accelerate value and innovation with ServiceNow, the platform for digital business. We make the work world better with prepackaged and configurable solutions for customers, employees and your entire ecosystem all built on a common cloud platform. To learn more, visit servicenow.com.